morning, everybody. You may be wondering, why am I always in the kitchen when I'm doing some of these videos? Well, the simple answer is this. It's the only place I can put my tripod. So, the title of today's video is Introverts, Extroverts in Dumaguete. Now, before you start, asking have I been to Dumaguete and the answer is no I have not been to Dumaguete so please do not make a, um, a harsh and slamming comment saying have you ever been to Dumaguete and the answer is no I have not I like to if I'm allowed but uh, at the moment no but Dumaguete was actually on top of my list when I was thinking of coming to the Philippines and um, I watched every video of all the well-known uh, personalities in Dumaguete. And then I went on some of the travel blogs and everything else. And I came across this one. And this really changed my mind. Dumaguete is a city in Negros Island in the southern Philippines. The lush waterfront Rizal Boulevard is backed by bars and restaurants and filled with annoying expats who congregate like old women. That is what really changed my mind. And I must admit, looking through some of the videos, in some respects, I'm glad that I didn't go to Dumaguete, really. Because what I've seen about Dumaguete, everyone seems to be up each other's asses, And um, being a... And an introvert myself, and people have said, criticised me for being an introvert, would I actually fit in the lifestyle of Dumaguete residents? And I don't think I will. For those of you that don't really know the definitions of extroverts and introverts, especially, you know, whether you come from an uneducated country or something. Um, anyway, um, an extrovert are those who enjoy being around other people, and that is Dumaguete. They have a strong need to socialise and talk to others, often seen as sociable, confident and outgoing. They love to talk to others. They are always ready to await their turn for the spotlight. And that really does sum up a lot of people in Dumaguete. I watched some videos when um, when they've gone to Valencia Market. And you can't see a Filipino. They're all expats. Expats selling stuff that their wives have made or whatever. It's like, it's like being at home. So why the hell would you come to the Philippines for? It's like being at home. And an introvert. They feel more comfortable focusing on their true thoughts and ideas rather than what's happening externally. And that is completely true. If I go to a cafe in Dumaguete, I'm assuming if I go to a cafe in Dumaguete, and I sit down in a corner with a nice coffee and a piece of apple pie because I'm quite partial to apple pie and especially ice cream I actually prefer ice, ice cream than actual cream actually but anyway if I'm sitting down with a nice piece of um, apple pie and ice cream and I'm away in my thoughts looking at the, the sea and just thinking about life in general and some big fat bastard expat comes up to me and says I I'm John I'm from Texas not knocking Texas, but it's easier to say than Massachusetts, okay? So, hi, I'm John from Texas. And I look at him and I think to myself, well, I'm Jeff, fuck off. And they will get all upset about that, but they think everyone is the same as them. Every extrovert I meet, is the same. They're so fucking annoying. We introverts want to be left alone, even if we're with our partner, wife or whatever. We want to be left alone in our little family unit 
We don't want to be pestered by some big fat bellied uh, expat that's pissed up and wants to chat about life in general. We're not interested. Let me eat my apple pie and ice cream and then I will leave this cafe and go for a walk on my own because I'm happier on my own and I don't have any annoying bastards trying to follow me, talking to me because they're lonely. I mean, let's face it, extroverts are lonely, really, because they always want someone to talk to. And if all the introverts were extroverts, God, it'd be fights every five minutes to try and be the leader and get on top and say what you feel. As you know, I'm very sensitive on my videos of what I say to people or about people. I say what I feel. It's the freedom of speech, which I'm allowed. Everyone is allowed freedom of speech if you come from a, a, a sort of democratic country. So, um, you know, this is the way I see it. I'm glad that I did not come to do Maggetti. I actually live in Paho. And I'll tell you about Paho. Well, there's nothing much really to say about Paho. But um, anyway, um, I've been over here in the Philippines for almost a year, three months. And how many foreigners or expats have I become friends with? None. Not one. How many expats have I spoken to in the last 15 months? Maybe two or three. And I'll tell you where they were. They were in Simbu Home Builders. One was in Super Metro. And it's just the occasional, hi, where are you from? I okay, fuck off. Easy. Leave me alone. I didn't come here to be pestered by expats who are so-called extroverts that congregate every morning for breakfast or they have to congregate every morning for breakfast because if one of them don't, they all talk about them. Yes, they're like old bloody women. I didn't want to live like that. I didn't want to receive a phone call at seven o'clock in the morning and say, hey, Jeff, we're all down at the, the Red Cafe. Come down there. We're, we're, we're waiting for you. So-and-so's bought a coffee for you. I don't want that pressure. You know? You feel obliged. You have to go because if you don't go, they talk about you. But if you do go, when you leave, they talk about you anyway. So it doesn't make any difference. I want to get up in the morning, have my breakfast. I don't want to go to a cafe and spend three, four hundred uh, pesos on a, a fried up piece of shit that I can cook myself anytime. I don't want to sit at seven o'clock in the morning listening to some big fat bastard that's got a hangover from the night before talking about the girls that he met the night before. I'm not interested. I am an introvert. So why don't extroverts let introverts live their own lives and stop fucking annoying us? So, that's one of the reasons why I did not choose Dumaghetti. I must admit, Dumaghetti does look nice. It's got uh, the Valencia area, looks lovely, the scenery, the breeze, the fountains and everything else looks absolutely lovely but unfortunately there are a few wankers in Dumaghetti that spoil it for everybody else these people thrive on other people if they've got an an illness or an injury or um so and so's left home so and so's got no money um you know it's, and it happens everywhere, I know that. Uh, do Maggetti, but do Maggetti to me is so close knit, it's just unbelievable. It's like living in, in your own town. Everybody knows you. You can't fart unless someone knows about it. So, if you're an extrovert, you probably would fit in do Maggetti. You'll be one of the crowd and you'll probably enjoy it. And um, you'll be part of the gang and you'll be ruled by a certain or controlled by certain people who is a bit more extrovert than what you are. Um, you'll have to go to uh, breakfast when they summon you. And when you go, 
they all talk a load of bollocks and when you leave early because you want to do things they talk about you and say what a miserable bastard he is why did he come for only one coffee he might as well just stayed at home and this is what it's like but Dumaguete is probably the main place for extroverts but if you're an introvert like me I wouldn't I wouldn't go to Dumaguete because I think you'll be pestered now this is my own personal opinion and as you know I do say what I feel because of um, 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 because of my freedom of speech now if you don't like it then turn the video off don't send me a harsh and slamming comment saying how the fuck do you know you've never been to do Megetti? That's I've already told you that, numbnut. So don't send me a comment, because I already told you that. I'm just comparing the people, not the, the place itself. Do Megetti, I have said, looks a lovely place. The only thing that spoils it is the tossers. The, not everybody. Don't get me wrong. I don't want another harsh and slamming comment saying, how dare you call me a tosser. I stay at home all day with my wife doing the garden and we have dried fish in the evening and we just have one beer and go to bed and go bonky bonky. I'm not talking about everybody. I'm talking about the, ma ma the majority, not the minority, the majority of extroverts in Dumaketi are wankers. They are like old women. They have got nothing to talk about except themselves. If they're all friendly when they're face to face with you, with you as soon as your ass goes out the door, they're calling you all the names under the sun. And I don't like bad language, as you know. So, what do I do? I'm sitting there in a cafe eating my apple pie and Vanilla ice cream, I do love vanilla ice cream, I must admit. Um, I'm not keen on these mixture ice creams, but I do love vanilla ice cream with uh, apple pie, and I do love apple pie. I actually make my own apple pie, and one day I will make a video about my apple pie. But anyway, isn't it so annoying when you're sitting there enjoying a piece of pie and a coffee, and you're in a world of your own thinking about, oh, the nice things and then some big gobby bastard comes and breaks it isn't that fucking annoying and they think it's great that's what pisses me off they think it's great and I'm not knocking people from Texas I'm not knocking people from America it's any nationality if you're an extrovert you're a pain in the fucking ass leave us introverts alone and let us get on with our thinking because what we're thinking, we're thinking what a load of fucking wankers you lot are because you're extroverts and you, who is trying to be louder than, than the other person next to him. Just leave the introverts alone. We're not interested in your fucking agenda. So, that is my rant for this morning. I'm sorry if I have upset anybody. I'm sorry if my language is uh, a bit naughty. I do not criticise people from Texas. Um, I don't even criticise people from Massachusetts, but that is the only place I've ever been to in America. And I don't not do Maggette as a place. It's a beautiful place. It's a lovely, lovely place, and you've got everything in it. And when I say you've got everything in it, I mean you do have everything in it. You've got all these freaking tossers sitting around and they're either left their girlfriends at home to do the washing and they're all sitting around this big table with their stomachs rested. They don't even pull the chair up to the table because they can't because their stomachs are too fucking big. And they sit there with their coffee that lasts them for two hours and they talk, 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 talk about other people, about other people's wives, other people's girlfriends. And in the corner you'll find a little old introvert eating his apple pie and ice cream, keeping the peace, not hurting anybody. So if you do see me in Dumaguete, in a corner of a cafe, eating apple pie and vanilla ice cream, please don't disturb me. Otherwise, I might just tell you to fuck off and get alive. Thank you. 
Have a nice day now. I've got to think about what next is coming up. I hope I haven't upset anyone. Anyway, I wish I had some apple pie in there, actually. In fact, I may go over to Super Metro and get some apple pie. Nice cream. They do a lovely vanilla ice cream here. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. But the problem is I eat half a tub in the evening when I put a Netflix film on. That's because I'm an introvert and not in the bars, pissing up with all the men, all the, the real cool men, 70 years of age with their young little girlfriends acting, I won't say the word because I don't like that word, but acting like idiots. Anyway, you've seen them, you know what it's like. If you are planning to go to Dumagelli, think about this. Are you an extrovert or an introvert? If you're an introvert, I advise you to find somewhere much quieter. If you're an extrovert, then fuck off and join them. Bye-bye.